Sure the safeguards that they have at the Tulsa Zoo right now because of COVID-19. All right, so they got a membership window. If you want to join the zoo, actual admission window. We'll be scanning our tickets ourselves. We also got the gift shop right inside. However, I'm gonna go in once I scan my ticket. I'll get my hat. Hey everybody, Tom here for Tom's Road Trip and I am in Tulsa, Oklahoma visiting the Tulsa Zoo. Let me take this off for a moment. Um, so, I have a three hour window today for the zoo. I have a wristband here, color coded wristband. My entry time is 8 o'clock. So I have until 11 to see everything there is to see in the zoo. So I will try my best to see all the animals. There are no one way paths, so I should be able to go back to it. I'm gonna show you the map in just a moment. They do have a train going round trip. I did get my ticket for that, additional $4 on top of my $18 entry fee, which isn't bad. Uh, I'm excited to be here. It's the first day of the zoo opening after the COVID-19 crisis. So they do have some precautions. I showed you right at the beginning of the video what they are doing. I have my face mask, which I will be wearing in areas where there's a lot of people to keep myself safe and everybody else safe. So let's get started. We don't got a whole lot of time. And I see I got my hat at the gift shop. Uh, the actual inside gift shop wasn't open, but the lady running the outside was nice enough to let me pick out a hat. So I have it for my souvenir and help protect my head. So let's check out the map right now. So I apologize for the reflection, but entry point is down here, uh, down here on the left, bottom left. So we're gonna go check out uh, the right side first. Check out the bear and the desert and forest. And we will work our way around. All right, so they do have a animal carousel. I don't know at this time if it is gonna be open today or not. Most likely not. All right, so we've got the train station right here. I figured I'd get the train out of the way. Uh, gentleman said it's a 10 minute train ride, so it won't take a lot of time out of my three hour window. Right here at the train station, or in front of the train station, is the exit area. Not ready to exit yet. Also, restroom location. In case you have to go before or after the train. Alright, so gonna be taking a train ride. Now, I don't know if you can see, but they got plexiglass in between all the seats. But there's only myself and uh, this family in front of me. the Tulsa Zoo Train. For your safety and the safety of those around you, please remain seated, keeping your arms species 
species is the snow leopard. Did you know that snow leopards have evolved to live in some of the harshest conditions on Earth? It is not uncommon for them to be found in altitudes of up to 17,000 feet. But with their thick white coats, heavy lined tails, and paws covered with fur, snow leopards are perfectly adapted to the cold and dry habitats within the steep and rocky mountains of Central Asia. Sloth roam freely, creating an interactive experience for guests. Did you 
know that the two-toed sloth is a nocturnal creature that spends most of their life upside down in trees? In fact, sloths are the only mammal whose hair grows in the opposite direction from the hair of other mammals, and this even allows water to run off during quite frequent tropical rainstorms. Ooh, we get to go inside the barn. So I just purchased a refillable drink cup for $5.50. Refills are $1.50. Now I did ask because I had this issue uh, yesterday at the Oklahoma City Zoo where they weren't doing refills. With this, when you purchase a refill, they give it to you in a disposable cup and I pour it in this myself. So at least I get refills. Okay, lower portion is where I'm at. We're gonna be doing the green part. We just rode the train all the way around the outside perimeter. So many animals were not in their habitats yet as they were still cleaning them. So hopefully when I get around, animals will be out. Now we got a chimpanzee. Now there's multiple chimpanzee in here. I just watched a couple of the other ones walking around below. So you can see their area is very lush with plants and shrubs. So if they're walking around the bottom, it's a little harder to see them. Walking around the other side of the habitat. Get another one right up here munching away on something. All right, so unfortunately all the inside buildings are closed temporarily, which I do understand. 
Hopefully it'll also start to reopen in a few weeks. Got a nice pond here. And I think these are geese. All right, we got bald eagle. There's three that I see. There's probably more in here. But these are magnificent birds. The other one is uh, a little bit hidden by the rocks. Yeah, we really got the children's zoo. First animal to come up here is a miniature pig. Hey, piggy, piggy. What's up? I'll give myself a scratch on his chin. Got a squirrel here walking along the fence. I know this isn't a real zoo animal, but he's in the zoo. And I like squirrels. Alright, we got red kangaroo. Kangaroo's on its back. I've never seen a kangaroo like that on its back like that before. That is too funny. Looks comfortable. Got another one here. Oh, I'm just watching the action along the fence. Oh, we got North American River Otter. It's up on the dry part of its habitat. It does have a nice water part to be in. A little better view of the otter. He was just looking up at me a second ago. Hi! All right, we got some miniature horse. Like they are having some breakfast of hay. Very nice. Ooh. Got some Dexter cow. All right, so which one of you two is named Dexter? Hmm? Hi, Cow Cow, how are you doing? What's up, Cow Cow? My dog would enjoy this. His name is Cow. Because he looks like a dairy cow, his uh, black and white spots. But we had the name Cow. Whoa, hi! How you doing? Sorry, I took my attention off him for a second, he got upset. We're right, gonna go inside the rainforest. Luckily, it is open. Got this big old statue here, or the head anyway. Oh, this is awesome. As soon as I walked in here, I felt the temperature change. It's very warm in here. Got these other statues. All right, we got a green anaconda. This one, big snake. All curled up in the water. It's a whole lot of snake right there. Got a smooth fronted dwarf caiman. Oh, it doesn't look too smooth to me. It's a great view of them. Got another one over here on the side in the water. You got red bellied piranha. These are so cool looking because of their scales. Reflects the light. Got a Malaysian giant turtle. Some right there. Not quite as giant as I was expecting. Got some big tooth river stingray. Somewhere along the bottom. We also got some red paku fish. These guys swimming around. There we got some Bozeman's rainbow fish and banded archer fish. Wow, so the Bozeman's rainbow fish are aptly named. Very colorful. And the banded archer fish are nice looking too. Interesting, you got water wolves. It's a water wolf. It's 
cool. There's also a ripshaw catfish. I believe that's the one down below. All right, we got some short-tailed fruit bat and the Macon fruit bat. Now, it's hard to get a good view of them, but it looks like the majority of them are all up above here. All right, it says is a green tree snake, I believe. There's no sign. So, the green tree snake is not the correct name for this particular snake. Leave a comment down below. And put the timestamp so I know what animal you're speaking of. It makes things a little easier. Alright, so we are in the aviary portion. Hi! How you doing? Bird came over to say hello to me. Hi! That is a scarlet macaw. Alright, bye! Thanks for coming over to say hi to me. Alright, we got an Indian python. I apologize for the reflection. Man, it's got a big giant snake head. The size of that. Alright, this chatty bird here is called a red fronted macaw. And that's it right there. So a two toed sloth. Blends in very well. A lot of camouflage. Just hanging there. We got a speckled owl. All right. That's a pretty bird right there. Got a nice radiated tortoise. Very nice markings on the shell. Got another turtle here. So showing you the map again, we're up here in the purple area, right outside the rainforest. We're going to be moving up to the teal colored part of the map. There's a whole gaggle of Canadian geese. Our McCall Landing Grill here to the the food place is finally open. I'm going to show you the menu. Their drink menu. Oh, so they have a really nice looking playground over here. But of course this is cordoned off. Because the kids would be too close to each other. Very, very nice interactive play area. Alright, showing you the map again. I'm in the teal area right in front of the conservation center. You see the flamingo right above the word conservation center. However, the conservation center is not open at the moment. Any more of this awesome looking playground. All right, along the outside perimeter of the conservation center, they do have some animals. They got a Deanna monkey. Is that Deanna monkey? And he's gone. Got another Deanna monkey here. And he's gone. Alright, so it came around the side. See more of the Deanna monkey. So here's where they all running to on the other side. It's all connected, so they get to go outside. Hey! How you doing? Well, thank you for coming up to say hi to me. Hi! All right, American Flamingo. Man, that one is tall. Wow. Hi, guys. Or gals. It's not sure if you were ladies or gentlemen. Maybe some of each, perhaps. I do have a nice water pound to play in. Hey flamingos, how are you? One of these big pink birds. Got some information on flamingo nests. Here we got some black and white rough lemurs. 
Alright, I found one. Looking all around, he's just kind of laying down. Stay cool, I suppose. So much space these little guys got. Alright, so behind the conservation center and behind the flamingos, got some more animals. Got Golden Connor, or could be Golden Conyer, depending on how you say your use. Very pretty colors. Got a high kith macaw. Hi. How are you? Gonna hang upside down for a while. Get a better view of me like that? Yeah. We got a derby and a parakeet. Kinda hard to see through the mesh. They're definitely vocal animals. Alright, California sea lions. See more of the fantastic decor of this sea lion area. All the nautical look to it. Now this is your above ground viewing area. You see they do have seating, but seating is unavailable right now because of COVID-19. Guess where they would have some interactive demonstrations. So right through there is the underwater viewing area. We're gonna go inside and see if we can see them. Underwater viewing has the sea lions. I kept looking at them. We're looking for them up above. Couldn't see them. We got the African penguin exhibit. All right, African penguin. See from the water view in the front. You can see all the penguins. They're all up on the dry area. So coming around the side, get a much better view of the penguins. If I'm looking behind the glass. Alright, so I'm still in the teal area, just saw the sea lions. I am going to be going into the green yellow area to the left. I'm right near the event lodge, which is not open because there's no events going on. I'm going to go check out the savannah area, go see the rhinos and giraffe. All right, so this is the event lodge. We do have restrooms inside, and restrooms are open, but that is it inside for now. Yeah, we're gonna see some gray crowned crane. Gonna throw them all together. Nayala. All right, the Nayalas. See two of them. The other one's a little slower. He just came outside. Got a sneaky right here. Right on top of the Springbok sign. This is a black snake. The rodents. Got some Springbok along the back. Alright, the Rhino Reserve. All right, we've got some white rhinoceros. You guys got all sorts of space to roam around. There you go, there's white rhinos. This, this, this is the one I'm looking for. Okay, come here. Awesome. It's the inside area or evening enclosure for the white rhinos. More informative information on these walls, but this area is closed off. Now we're gonna see some reticulated giraffe. All right, looks like they are nibbling on something inside that little rectangular box. Another one down below here. Yeah, there we go. 
Right around the side, get a really good view of this giraffe. Getting some treats out of the ball. Got these really long tongues that are sticky. Okay, so I'm right by the giraffe experience. Gonna go over and see if I can see the African painted dogs and the meerkats. And then we're gonna go down into the Lock's Kingdom area. All right, the cute and fuzzy meerkats. Very inquisitive animals. See, one up high is the lookout. One right next to him, kind of leaning back, relaxing. That's the way to do it, meerkat. You can see all the holes that they dig to get underground. It's much cooler. There's our southern ground hornbill. Hi, birdie birds! Oh, wow. What you got? The other one came really close, but it's hard to see him. He had something in his mouth. I don't know if it was a piece of bark. Now we got some Adabra tortoise. I'm over here playing in the water. Young in there too. Look at the little one. Look at that little one. All right, showing you the map again. I'm just about to go inside Lost Kingdom. This would be the last area of the zoo I have not been in yet. All right, here we go. Lost Kingdom. Lost Kingdom is the newest area of the zoo. All right, Snow Leopard. We got two of them out. God, such gorgeous animals. Oh yeah, getting all comfortable. A cool looking building, but it is currently closed. All right, my lion tiger. Apologize for the reflection, but I can't do anything about it. But yeah, really nice. And he's inside his cave. It's nice and cool, having a cat nap. Looks very comfy in there. And he's having a cat nap. And whiskers. And there's another one behind the rock. You can tell by its tail and hind legs. Got the Komodo Center. You do have a snack bar here. And restroom locations. And then we got a Demosil crane. In the same habitat, we got a white stork. Got them both right here in the same shot. Very nice. That Demosil crane has those nice uh, feathers along the, its head. Look, it's got some hair. Right, we got some Bintarong. Right up there. Snipping the air. Like a Komodo dragon. <laughs> Alright, I apologize for the reflection, but we got a nice Komodo dragon right here in the front. We got some Samang. So the Samang are on the inside enclosures because it's cooler in here. Actually, air conditioned. We got some various animals in here. We got a Chinese alligator, million giant turtle, southern river terrapin, and yellow headed temple turtle. See a Chinese alligator right there on the top. Its head sticking up. It'd be hard to see with the reflection. But you can see it's just hanging him on the rock. So you can have his nose out of the water. You can see the turtles. All on the bottom. Really good at holding their breath. The Komodo dragon's inside portion of its habitat. But it's outside at the moment. Further away, you can see the two Bitterong up top. Trying to get a better view of the Komodo dragon. 
He says inside habitat. Now walking through this fantastic newer area, it's always good to see zoos renovating their areas, adding new features, making the lives of the animals that are homed here much better. These are very natural looking habitats instead of the old style uh, zoo cages that you used to see in years past, well, from what I remember anyway. So it's always nice to see a zoo committed to expanding the enrichment of both the animals and the guests experience. All right, gonna go check out their Lost Kingdom elephant. All right, Asian elephant. All right, that's one of the smaller portions of the elephant habitat. And that is the elephant house. Apparently most of them are inside. Usually you'll be able to go inside to see them, but that is off limits as well. All right, I do see one elephant out at the moment. However, it is a backside view. I am sorry for that. Right by the elephants, they have a really nice garden. Very suitable for butterflies. Lots of colorful flowers and native plants. It's always nice to see the different colored flowers and the different animals that it attracts. All right, I made my initial loop around the zoo property. There was a few animals that were not out. I've got about 20 minutes left of my initial three hour time limit. So I'm gonna try and go back right now to see if those animals are out. And then we will possibly check out some more of the stuff in the front and head out. All right, here at the children's zoo, all the goats were not out earlier, but now they are. Got lots and lots of goaty goats. This goat up here is just, just snoozing in the shade. All the different colored froggies. A couple of them right here. The blue colored one. There's a couple, a couple yellow and black. And they got lots of space to blend in. All right, African painted dog. All right. So we got two of them. Happy they're out now. All right, evidently the African lions are off exhibit at the moment. Because there's signs further down explaining that they are working on the area. All right, so I came back hoping the grizzly bears would be out. But evidently they are still inside hibernating, so to speak. So I'm sorry I can't show you the grizzlies. All right, everybody, my three hours is up. I am heading back towards the front. I have seen everything that I was going to be able to see. Uh, certain exhibit areas, primarily the stuff inside, was off limits, understandably so. So I am sorry I wasn't able to give you a 100% uh, tour, but I did see a lot of animals. Initially, when I first came in at eight this morning, uh, majority of the animals were not out yet. I was happy that they came out later on. Besides the lions and the bears, I've seen everything else that was available to the general public at this time. This is their first day being back open since COVID-19 has struck. So as the weeks go by, they will continue to open up things as it's deemed to be safe for the staff and the public. Just saw them walking across the path. Got the little baby with them. I didn't want to get too close and freak them out. All right, so I'm back at the exit point for the Tulsa Zoo. You have an outdoor gift shop. There's a train going by. 
Oh yeah, we rode this earlier. First got here. Got the hard to see a gem dig in Sluice. You can pan for gems. This most likely will not be open. See more of what the gem mining would entail. Once this opens up again. So I hope you have enjoyed my tour around the Tulsa, Oklahoma Zoo. I had a fantastic time. Very nicely run zoo. I felt safe being here. Not a lot of people clustered together, which is a good thing. That is why they are doing the three limit and their tiered timed entry to prevent people from being all clustered together. So that's a good thing. So if you do come here, be prepared to have some areas off limits for now. As I said, hopefully in the coming weeks or months even, all the rest of the stuff will be back open at normal routine. So thanks for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Leave me some comments below if you like what you saw. Let's me know that you enjoyed it. I'm always happy to hear from people. I always return comments after people use their time to leave me a comment, I always make sure I return that comment with a comment of my own. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.